I defy any one of us to be able to leave this room today and be able to spot who's the person who's going to the soup kitchen or the food pantry that evening. The faces we are seeing are working families, husband and wife walking in together with their children in their hand. Hunger has taken on a total new face. City Harvest is serving over a quarter million people a week. We know that over a million people are turning to emergency food every year. Many of them have homes, many of them have jobs, many of them have a good degree of education, whether college or high school. So the face of hunger isn't what we might have imagined. It's changing. You might find this hard to believe. Two weeks ago, a person with a PhD because they weren't working, walked into this pantry, got us as a referral, and said, I don't have food. Over the last month or so, we have been seeing an additional 270 new people. Most of the agencies that City Harvest is taking food to are reporting a significant increase in the number of families and families with children that are visiting them to get a good, nutritious meal into them. Everything is so high, the food is so high, clothes, everything, and this is a really helpful thing to everyone, you know, every family in, in America, it's a helpful thing to them, and I thank you for this. Mothers tell us that they have to go without, with, with less to make sure their children have sufficient. As long as I can come here and get something for them to eat, and I know they going to bed and their stomachs is full, God bless my day. We know that there are over 350,000 children in New York who are turning to emergency feeding programs. These are children who are already living in very low-income neighborhoods, going to quite tough schools. Where the next meal is coming from shouldn't be another level of stress for children in New York City. Um, it feels painful when you want to eat and your stomach's growling. I think you can't. Like, you focus on eating, then you can't focus on your work. When I have good lunch, I feel like I can answer my questions better ensuring that a child goes to school with food in their belly that's nutritious that's going to see them through to the lunch time is really critical because until that happens that child isn't going to learn a lot of the children that come to our nutrition education classes actually come hungry I mean sometimes we work with after-school programs and we usually have to buy a snack up front before we even start the class because some kids come in and they're lethargic they're slow they have no energy but when we provide them with a snack up front, a healthy snack up front, like a fruit, some grapes, you know, definitely their attention is more focused. Some of the ways City Harvest is addressing the lack of good quality, affordable, nutritious food in low-income neighborhoods is really looking for some very creative ways to begin to create that access. We combine that with nutrition education classes so parents can go and learn alongside their kids how to cook a meal that's nutritious, that's low cost. If you can change their eating habits as youngsters, you have a better chance of them carrying those habits throughout life and also teaching someone else. I like cauliflower. What is that? What's cauliflower? It's cauliflower. It's like white. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like it's white. I bring my daughter to work because, you know, she has to see that there is other people that have needs, that they don't have no food to eat. You know, and everything is not like a fairy tale. After 9 11, my husband lost his company. So I came here one day as a client. The, the food the city harvest brings here, I think, is a blessing. If everyone just gave $10, it would make such a difference for so many families. If everyone in our community just said, you know what, here's $10 to help purchase food, it would go such a long way. Or if you have something, in, if, if you can afford to buy an extra bag of groceries and drop it off at a local pantry, it makes a difference to help someone. I believe if every person have a heart or a passion to see someone else being fed, 
that if they were to contribute just a little more or begin contributing or to tell a friend or a neighbor or co-worker that hunger is real, let us do something about it. I think the impact would be great and things would change. Every drop, every donation, every penny means so much to them. It makes such a difference.